Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make cast breakers cane from Shadow and Bone. First, you're going to need a stick that is a comfortable height. This one came from an old broom, but you can buy one from the store. I did some research and I found this picture that had enough details. Making the base. For this part, you can use a balloon with some cotton inside, seal it with paper, or in my case, since I didn't have any of those things, I just used an old glove and I put some paper inside to make the shape. I taped it and then I used this other kind of tape to make the line smoother. With the fingers of the glove, I shaped them to try to create the beak of the crow. And then I completely covered it with tape so we have a smooth line to start with. And it looked like this. First layer, air dry clay. For this part, I used this modeling clay that it dries around 24 hours completely. In this case, since I used details later on, it did take longer than that. What we're trying to achieve with this first layer is making a base that is smooth to make sure the seams were invisible between each piece of clay. I use water and then smooth it with my fingers. Once everything is covered and smooth, you can add more clay to make sure the shape resembles the one in the picture. Shaping and details. For this, you can use a pencil or something sharp. I had these tools that help me mark the lines. Once the lines were marked, I cut out the shape of the eye socket, where later we're going to put a crystal on. Using the back of the paintbrush, I make the lines run deeper, and then use it to smooth out the new pieces of plate that I added. Adding layer upon layer of this rolled out clay, we can create the feather effect that we can see on the cane. Once the crow head is ready, we can start making the joint of the metal with the rest of the wood. Dipping the paintbrush on water also helps to smooth out these seams. After carving all these details, I marked a line and took out the leftover clay, making sure we have a clean edge between what will be the metal and the wood. Second layer, protection and texture, epoxy resin. While using these materials, you have to have your hands covered and face with a mask. Following the instructions on the epoxy resin, we have a one-on-one -on -one ratio. Mix it for at least two to three minutes. The curing time might vary between each brand of epoxy resin. In this case, it took around three hours. Once the mix was ready, I used this old paintbrush to cover each and every single one of these lines. Base paint and details. Using this gold metallic spray paint, I covered the entire top part and the bottom of the cane. Once it dried, I took brown and black acrylic paint, mixed them, and painted inside each and every detail. This way we create depth and the texture of metal. Before it fully dried, I took a rag. You can also use paper towels to remove the excess of paint. super glue, I added the crystal that is the eye of the crow. And this is how it looks so far. As the final detail, we're going to use stain, preferably darker, so you can cover the rest of the wood to match the color of the cane. Final product. 